Yeah! Hola gang, wanted to make a quick video, tell you about a really, really good deal that I just discovered. I went over to Winn-Dixie. If you have Winn-Dixie around you, you're gonna wanna try this. Now they've got this hot bar, hot food bar that consists of fish, shrimp, a bunch of sides, Jojo's, macaroni and cheese. Um, they've got whole pieces of fried chicken. They've got chicken wings and chicken strips, right? Okay, so you do it all yourself. You just grab a container down there and start filling it up. Take a look at this. This is what I got. Three pieces of breaded catfish and a single piece, there's the catfish, and a single piece of breaded tilapia, and then a whole bunch of breaded fried shrimp. See, that's a lot of food. I didn't get any sides. Here's the method to my madness. This price for the hot bar is $7.99. The lightest things in the bar are both the fish and the shrimp, the macaroni and cheese, even the Jojo's and the chicken and everything add a lot of weight to that. So I can get more if I get a bunch of light stuff. And besides, this is entree stuff, which I, I, I love seafood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take frozen french fries, I'm going to put them in my air fryer and make up a whole bunch of fries. There's my side right there. Now this amount of food right here, including the fries, will easily feed me twice. And what I ended up paying, this was a little under a pound, was $5.35 for three pieces of fish and eight or nine fried shrimp. So all this seafood plus the fries, and I could always opt for coleslaw or potato salad or whatever else I have here at home. But for two meals, $5.35, that's a little over two and a half dollars for a meal of seafood. I will be doing a review um, in a little while on the food here, but I just want to let you know about the deal. So if you have a Winn-Dixie around you, Give it a shot yourself. Don't get any of the sides. Don't get any of the heavy stuff. And if you love seafood, this is a must get. Uh, hopefully it's going to be really good. But like I said, I'll let you know later. All right. You guys have a freaking awesome day. And I'll talk to you again. Bye now. Okay, guys. So here's where Winn-Dixie had an issue with me making this video. I think they have like... Area 51 top secret rotisserie chickens in there. I took some shots of the hot bar, as you could see in the video, and I had a lady behind the counter ask me what I was doing. And I said I was shooting the hot bar for a video that I was making on YouTube. And I thought that'd be the end of it. Nay, nay. After looking around the store a little bit more to try and find some cool things to review for you guys, I had two employees confront me about shooting video in the store. Again, I was asked what I was doing. I told them that I was shooting video for a YouTube video that I was making. And they told me that I could not do that kind of thing without a prior okie doke from the store manager. Of course, they can put any policies they want in place as long as they don't discriminate. But telling people that they can't shoot photos and video in their store anymore is very outdated and very foolish in 2022. Everybody has a phone, and I bet there are tons of people always shooting video, always shooting photos in the store for all kinds of various reasons. Do you want this or that for dinner? Show me how big the coleslaw is. Does the chicken look dry tonight? Let me see what it looks like. Here, I'm gonna take a photo. I wanna remember the size and the price of this item. And on and on and on. I don't know anyone who has this policy anymore. I shoot photo and video in restaurants and stores and no one bothers me. Long time ago it was like that, but it's not anymore. I mean, who do they think puts photos and videos and reviews on places like Yelp and Google Maps and Facebook and on and on and on and on? The people do that. The customers do that. I mean, I think they may want to focus more on shadowing like shoplifters and stuff like that. Bad people who would want to do them harm rather than hassling customers who are just like, taking shots with their phone. Customers who may be doing them a solid. Winn-Dixie, 
no photos and no video policies are outdated. They are ridiculous and they're archaic in 2022. Do better.